Hi, this is Eric with Celestron, coming to you from Celestron headquarters in Torrance, California. Previously, we discussed the Smart Dew Heater controllers as part of our Dew Prevention Overview video. Now, let's take a closer look. To review, there are two Smart Dew Heater controllers, the Smart Dew Heater controller two times and the Smart Dew Heater and Power controller four times. The two times controller is ideal for simple setups. If you are primarily a visual observer, this may have all the features you need. For imaging setups, however, you'll likely want to go with the four times controller. Let's start by talking about power. Both of the Smart Dew Heater controllers are powered by 12 volts DC, such as provided by our power tank lithium batteries or AC to DC adapters. The two times can take up to 120 watts input power, which is 10 amps current. There's a 12 volt DC power output port. You can use this to power your mount so that only one power supply is needed for your setup. The four times can handle up to a whopping 240 watts input power. That's 20 amps. This will provide plenty of power to handle whatever your setup requires. The four times has a total of four power output ports. Three provide 12 volts DC, while one can provide variable three volt to 12 volt DC voltage. Use these ports to power your mount, cooled or DSLR camera, and other 12 volt DC accessories. Next, let's discuss dew heater control. For the two times controller, there are two dew heater ports along with thermistor ports for each. The four times controller has four dew heater ports with thermistor ports. You can use these to keep your main telescope, finder scope, and guide scope all free from dew at the same time. The dew heater ports are compatible with Celestron dew heater rings and heating straps from other manufacturers. For smart control feedback, the thermistor jack from the dew heater ring connects to the thermistor port. For third-party heating straps, you'll need the optional thermistor for smart dew heater controllers. You don't need to connect to the smart dew heater controllers for them to provide smart dew heater control. They do that automatically when they are powered. The controller calculates the ambient dew point from the temperature and humidity data provided by its integrated environmental sensor and monitors the temperature of the lens through the thermistor port. The controller will then provide just enough power through the dew heater port to the heater ring to keep the lens above the dew point, preventing dew from forming with a minimum of power usage. This allows your battery to run your setup significantly longer without needing a recharge. However, if you want to monitor data in real time or change settings, you can connect to the controller with your Celestron mounts hand control or with your PC running the free Celestron CPWI software. To connect with your Celestron hand control, use the included aux cable to connect one of the controller's aux ports to the mount's aux port. Then plug the hand control into the mount or the controller itself. Once connected, select the dew heater menu to access real-time data and settings. To connect with your PC, use the PC port. You can then use the free Celestron CPWI software, which gives an excellent graphical user interface. There's also an ASCOM driver available for use with other third-party software like Nina. Once connected, you can see real-time data such as power draw, current draw, input voltage, ambient temperature, humidity, and dew point. You can change dew heater settings from automatic smart control to manual control, and you can also turn the power and USB output ports off and on. If controlling remotely via PC, this feature is especially useful. The Smart Dew Heater and Power Controller four times features an integrated powered USB 3.2 hub. Connect your USB accessories, such as a camera or filter wheel, to the controller and then connect all to your computer using one cable from the PC port. You can also recharge your smartphone and other rechargeable devices from the USB ports. To mount the controller to your setup, there are several options. Both controllers have integrated dovetail clamps which are compatible with CG5 Vixen and CGE Los Mandy dovetail bars. For many setups, this will be the most convenient way to mount. The enclosures also have slots for the included leg strap, which can be used to attach the controller to your telescope's tripod leg. The controllers feature an internal fan to keep the electronics cool even with large power loads. The bridge houses the environmental sensor and isolates it from any residual heat radiated by the metal enclosure. The status LEDs on the bridge provide at-a-glance feedback while in use. If the current or voltage becomes too large or too small, the LEDs will warn you to take action. The bridge also functions as a handy cable management feature for corralling cables and preventing unwanted cable pulls. If you are using the smart dew heater controllers without a Celestron mount, we offer an optional aux port power cable. This connects one of the controller's power output ports to one of its aux ports 
providing power for the remaining aux ports. This allows usage of Celestron accessories through the controller's aux ports, such as the Celestron Focus Motor and Sky Portal Wi-Fi module for wireless PC connection. If using with a Celestron mount, this cable is not required as the aux connection to the mount will power the controller's other aux ports. The smart dew heater controllers keep all your optics free from dew while using minimal power consumption. In addition, they provide convenient power and cable management options. You'll find that the controllers have well thought out features which make using your entire setup easier. We know you'll have clear optics and hopefully clear skies too.